Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this painted stripe candy cane tumbler. I've made a playlist for all my holiday tumblers that I've been doing so far, so that way it's easy to find when you guys are ready to start making your holiday tumblers. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tutorials I have coming your way. So grab your favorite drink and let's get to this. Today I'm going to be using a 20 ounce skinny tumbler from the Stainless Depot. I'm going to prep that and paint it white. Now you can paint it red, you can paint it white, it's completely up to you. If you're going to be using the same colors that I do, you might feel more comfortable painting it red, but I was fine with the white. After I let my paint dry for about 30 minutes, it's time to apply the epoxy to the tumbler. I mixed up A and B, I like to use Illumilite's Amazing Clear Cast, and I'm just going to do a little swipe on the front, a swipe on the back, and then I'm going to use my favorite red. Now this red is my personal red that I made myself. Um, I don't have my shop open yet, but when I do, I will go ahead and put that link in the description below. This is called Cherry Bomb. But again, please feel free to use any of your favorite red that you have on hand. I'm just going to make sure that I fully coat my tumbler with this red and then I'm going to place it onto my turner and let it turn for about three hours. Now I know sometimes some of you like to do the hang method when you do the epoxy method with your glitters and that's perfectly fine. Whatever way you guys want to do it. I just like turning mine. That, that's just me. So whatever way you feel comfortable, you do it that way. As you guys seen there, I kind of just made sure that all that glitter was pushed up onto the edge before I placed it onto my turner. Now I'm going to come through and I'm going to trim up my edges and then I'm going to give it a nice coat of clear coat and then we're going to give it another coat of epoxy before we move on to the painted stripes. The reason why I like to give it a coat of uh, that spray clear sealer uh, over the top of this raw glitter is because I find it really helps out with any fish eyes that may occur, especially if you don't put a very thick coat of epoxy on, it has a tendency to kind of spread and not want to stick to that glitter. So that's why I like to use the spray sealer over top of my raw glitter. Now, because I didn't go too heavy handed with my glitter, my glitter is all pretty flat. So I'm not going to do a very thick coat here. But if you find that your glitter is kind of poking up in places, make sure you, you give yourself a little bit thicker of a coat. You may even need to do an extra coat over this just to make sure this next step is nice and smooth for those stripes. I'm going to let that turn overnight for about eight hours and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Now that my tumbler is nice and cured, I'm going to take this two inch uh, tape that I have here, but you can use any size tape you'd like. I wanted more red than white, so if you wanted more white than red, use a smaller size tape, and that way you have more, more white instead of red, but this is just how I wanted to do it. Now with the tape, I found that if I, oh, nope, <laughs> hold on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I found that if I stick it to the table and then try, you know, wrap it around your tumbler, it kind of went a little bit easier, so that way it wasn't trying to stick to itself for your arm. So I'm just going to take that at an angle and just swoop it around my tumbler like this. And then once I get to the bottom, I'm going to show you guys how I did that here in a minute. Now I did little pinstripes off to each side of the white, but if you guys plan on not doing the little pinstripes, you want to try to make sure that you get your tape as straight as possible so that way those lines are nice and crisp. Now here on the bottom, I'm going to show you, I just kind of pulled it up real tight and I'm going to bunch it together. I'm going to take a, an X-Acto knife that I have and I'm just going to trim up right around uh, the rim here, right around where it curves to the bottom of the tumbler. And then after I have this cut, I'm just going to continue to take my tape and twirl it around my tumbler until I get that uh, desired candy cane look that I'd like. Now the whole reason why I did the painted instead of vinyl is because I wanted to do that swirl on the bottom that I'm going to be showing you guys here in a minute. But if you didn't want to do a swirl on the bottom, you could easily just take white vinyl and wrap it around your tumbler as well. And along with any pinstripes you might want to do, it's completely up to you. There is no right or wrong here, however you'd like to do it. 
You could even easily use the double-sided tape that you see out there that everybody's using. I didn't have any, so I didn't use it. So this is just my version of the candy cane tumbler. Now that I have all my tape on there to my best ability, nice and straight as best I could, <laughs> I think I did an all right job. <laughs> Some of it's a little bunched up, but that's okay. We can hide any of those little details where it might be off a little with the pinstriping. Now I'm ready to add the tape on the bottom so that way we can get that swirl look on the bottom of this tumbler. So instead of going ahead and putting two pieces of tape on here to begin with, I'm gonna use one at a time because I find it's a little bit more translucent with just one on at a time so that way I can see where I'm cutting. So you just wanna take your X-Acto knife and very carefully run it right along, like below where that tape line is so that way there's no gaps when you go to pull it off. So once I have that cut, we're gonna pull it off and make sure there's no gaps where there are red is showing through where we don't want it to at least <laughs> and then we'll move on to the second piece of tape and again the same concept i'm going to take a piece of tape well that one didn't fit <laughs> so i had to pull another piece off i was trying to reuse my tape <laughs> i'm going to put another piece of tape on there and do the same exact thing where i just run my knife right along the edge and pull off all the excess and then we'll be ready to cut out our swirl Now I'm just going to make sure that my tape is nice and pressed down and then like I said I want to do a swirl so I'm going to find the center of this tumbler I'm going to put a dot right where the center is and then coming off each one of those red stripes because I want that to be painted I'm going to connect it straight to the middle with a bit of a curved line so that way it makes that swirl look Once I have my lines all done up here, I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and very carefully just trace along those lines and then we'll be ready to pull the center out. Now I'm just gonna come through and pull those stripes off and then we'll be ready to go outside and give it a nice coating of our white. Now here in a second, you'll see there was a just a piece of tape that I didn't like. It was a little too bunched up, so I went ahead and I just trimmed it. And like I said, the pinstripe's gonna hide any, any defects you kind of have in your line if you plan on doing the uh, pinstripes. So like I said, if you don't wanna do the pinstripes, then you really need to make sure those lines are very straight. Now that I have everything all cut, I'm just gonna make sure that my tape is as smooth as it possibly can be. Uh, any of those little bumps, paint will tend to seep under there but if it does we'll clean it up in a minute I'll, I'll show you guys that I have my two times ultra cover that I like to use by Rust-Oleum you guys can use any type of white you like it's completely up to you I'm just gonna go ahead and I actually gave it two coats of white because the red was kind of showing through and we'll let that completely dry for about an hour now that my paint is nice and dry we're back inside and it's the moment of truth let's see how I did <laughs> I was a little nervous to do this. <laughs> Didn't do too bad. I, I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> There's a little bit of paint there, but we'll clean that up in a second. Let's go ahead and peel and take a look at our swirl on the bottom. Okay, let's see here. I'm just going to remove this last piece. And look at that. Look, look what I made, guys. I didn't do too bad, huh? <laughs> so now I'm just gonna come through and I'm gonna touch up some of those places. I have some acetone here, and then I'm just gonna take a corner of a paper towel, or you can use a Q-tip, whatever, whatever you like to use to kind of remove your paint. I'm just gonna put just a little bit of uh, that acetone, 100% acetone on my, my paper towel here, and I'm just gonna rub that right there, and there she goes. She's nice and cleaned up. So now I'm going to cut my vinyls for the pinstriping that I want to do. In my Cricut, I'm just going to use the square and I'm going to flatten it down to whatever size you'd like to use. And then I'm using a 20 ounce tumbler, skinny tumbler. Those are eight inches tall and then I want to add a couple extra inches onto that so that way I have enough room to get it on 
completely up and around the bottom of my tumbler. I did three white stripes and I want one green stripe on each side of that, so I cut out six of those. So here are my vinyls all cut out and I'm going to start at the top and I'm gonna wait, make my way all the way down to the bottom of the tumbler. I'm gonna kind of show you guys when in like slow motion or regular motion here and then I'm gonna kind of speed up the process here. So I'm just gonna pull my vinyl. You gotta be careful because it wants to cling to everything. <laughs> I don't want to stick it to the table because you don't want to handle vinyl too much because if you put too many of your oil, you know, the oils off your hands onto the vinyl, it'll tend to pop back up when you go to apply your epoxy. So you want to try to handle it as little as possible. That's why you want to make sure that you give yourself an extra two to three inches on the bottom so that way, as you see here, I like to hold on to the tip of it. If you hold on to the tip of it and then try to place that down, it won't stick. It'll want to pop back up. So you're going to want to cut that piece off that your fingers were touching there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twirl the cup and make sure that I line it up. You can either put it on the outside of the white, inside of the white, or like completely in the center. It's completely up to you. And I'm just going to swirl that cup as I am placing the vinyls here. I'm just kind of holding it taut at the end. So that way it wants to stick to my tumbler. And then now here, when I come up to the bottom, see, I didn't give myself enough <laughs> at all. So I'm gonna make sure that I use a nice good coat of my clear spray when I go to epoxy it. So that way that doesn't wanna pop back up. But what I'm doing, it's almost like pinstriping. I, I, you, maybe you've pinstriped a car or something, but it, it's pretty much almost like pinstriping. You just wanna take your finger and kind of mold it to the direction that you would like it to go into. So you just kind of take your finger. I think I'll do it here in a second. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> you take your finger and you just kind of run it along and bend that vinyl because your finger will kind of warm it up and you just want to bend it until it gets that shape you'd like. Now with my X-Acto knife, I'm just gonna trim up any little pieces that might've ran over into the red. Because once all those other uh, green pinstripe pink pieces get up there, they're all gonna kinda meet up in the center. You just don't want anything overlapping into the red on, on each side of that swirl there. So I'm just gonna trim this up, and then I'm gonna move on to putting on all my other stripes. I'm just gonna kind of slow it down one more time. I'm just showing you how I hold it in place at the top. And then I twirl the tumbler as I'm placing it onto that white stripe. And then I just very carefully come up to the bottom and then use my finger to mold that around that little swirl that we made up there. And it's as easy as that. I'm gonna come through and trim up the green up at the top. Take my X-Acto knife, line it up with my white, and just push down and press up to remove any of that extra green. You know, be careful, you don't wanna nick your paint because I accidentally did that and then I had to go back through and kind of touch it up with some acrylic paint, but you know, <laughs> nobody's perfect, right? So I'm just gonna finish that up and then we are going to give it a nice coat of clear sealer and then we'll be ready for epoxy. After I'm done with this, I'm gonna press everything down, make sure it's nice and flat to my tumbler, give it that coat of clear coat, and give it a nice coating of epoxy. I'm gonna let that cure overnight for about eight hours, and then you can add any decals you'd like, and then you can finish it up with two, about two more coats of epoxy. And then you wanna let that cure for another two to three days before you wanna ship it out. Whether you try to duplicate this or turn it into something completely your own, I hope that you guys had fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any tutorials, tips, or vlogs I have coming your way, and I will see you guys next time.